Hello, welcome back to another beer review. Right, um, as you may know, if you've been watching me post in the past few weeks, I went to Spain. I went to a holi on a holiday for a week to uh, the Costa del Sol. And while I was there, I picked up a couple of bottles of beer and brought them home. And the beer I've got is... I'll show you it first. Legado de Yust, um, which means Legacy of Yust. Um, murder me the comment comments if I've pronounced it wrong, because obviously I'm not Spanish. <laughs> I don't even look Spanish. <laughs> you might disagree. You might think I do look Spanish, but really I'm not Spanish. <laughs> so the label itself, it's 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 in Spanish. So. The nerd being the nerd I am, decided to go on the internet and get, you know, get it translated. So, I'll tell you what I'll do, boys and girls. I shall read it first in Spanish. Elaborada seguin la tradition. That sounds French, doesn't it? <laughs> tradition. <laughs> de los maestros servasoros. De flandes. Durante el retiro. De Carlos on of Monasterio de Use. <laughs> yeah, not you, you lot you do. <laughs> Boys and girls, the English. This is what I've managed to get hold of. The English. I'll read it down. It says, made according to the tradition of the teachers, teachers, brewers of Flanders during the removal of Carlos the Fifth in the monastery of Eust. So basically, there's a bloke called Carlos they want to get rid of in this monastery in Eust. Then they decided to 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 make a beer to get rid of him. <laughs> Did they poison him with beer? <laughs> Murder me in the comments. History isn't my forte, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Murder me in the comments about that one. And and Heineken's behind this. Spanish Heineken in Seville, in Spain. So 6.5% ABV. 330 mil bottle. Super smashing great. There you go. Let's open it. Because I haven't got a clue what's inside this bowl. Apart from that, it's supposed to be beer. So, there is... The Legacy of Used Crown. Quite a nice one, that. I think it is. Let's see what we get. It smells like a malt loaf. It smells like a, a, a soaring malt loaf. Bit of raisin in there. Not that I go around smelling malt loaves, but it smells like it. When you take it out of the packet and you, you cut it open and put the butter on and Smells a bit like that. I'm going to whack her in. See what she comes out like. She's come out. Um, amber colour. Quite clear looking. So. Nice looking head actually. Quite compacted head on there. A little stream of carbonation running up. It looks quite nice actually. Um, even though it's, it's probably a Heineken in disguise. Well, it won't be a you know a normal Heineken in disguise. <laughs> I'm talking bollocks now. Yeah, so it looks okay. Let's see what we get. It smells like somebody's been rubbing brass. It's that type of aroma. It's not very pleasant, to be honest. Um, not very pleasant at all. Or is there anything else? Could be. Could be a hint of sherry in there, but not. I don't think it's a sherry aged thing. I tell you what, the, the proof in the pudding is to drink it, innit? So, I'm gonna go in. I don't know what this is gonna be like at all. You feel the strength. There's a sweetness on the back end. Is it going on the front end? It feels. It 
quite thin, quite malty. It's pleasant. It's quite sweet. There is a sweetness there on the back end. It does feel... It, you're picking up a hop leaf, like a hop cone on the back end. You can feel like a leafiness um, about two minutes after you swallow it. It'll just come up your throat and say, Hello! <laughs> or, Hola! If you know what I mean. I go in again. It is pleasant. It is pleasant. There is, yeah, I would say there is a bit of sherryness there. Not much. A little bit of maltness there. It's pleasant. <clears throat> I'm glad I've tried it. It's one to tick off, if you know what I mean. You do get the sense of strength in this, definitely. I'll go in one more time for the road. Should I have done a review in Spain of it? Yeah, I think I wasted my time bringing it home. I should have just done a quick review of it in Spain in the hotel um, bathroom like I did. <laughs> um, it's not one I would go out of my way to get again. If I go back out there, um, it, like I said, it's something you know, it, it's it's something to tick off tick off the list, and it does remind me of a poor Belgian double in a way. Um, try it for yourselves, boys and girls. If you're in Spain, legacy legacy of Yust or whatever it is, Yust, give it a whirl. Or oh, if any of you out there have tried this one before, tell us what you think. Tell us if I've got it wrong. As ever, murder me in the comments. And as ever, see you boys and girls on my next one. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching this one.